Tommy Troll fucker. It said that a character is defined more by their flaws than their strengths. By that reasoning Tommy was much more the result of our GM than his player. Now this poor fool was pretty damn green and the character concept he wanted to play was something you'd expect on a freeform board. He wanted to be a bard that was just so cool that everyone loved him even as he was killing their buddies. He wanted this character to be the center of attention in every fight, with everyone stopping to watch when he did incredibly awesome stuff. And at the end of the fight hot chicks would come over and ask for his autograph because he was just so cool. Now our GM did a lot of work to fit concepts into the world, but he did have a sense of balance and demanded that Tommy's ridiculous strengths be even out with a few flaws or removed entirely before he was put into the game. The player couldn't do it though, he just couldn't think of any way to make Tommy less awesome without ruining him, so the poor fool asked our GM to do it for him. This is the equivalent of asking a genie to word your wish for you, you're going to get dicked over hard. Essentially what Tommy wanted wanted was, good first impression everyone who meets this character immediately either likes them them, adding a positive modifier to all social roles. Amazing criticals when you score a critical on a roll everyone stops and notices. In combat enemies who saw the critical must save or be dazed. Overawed enemies with a positive opinion of you will do reduced damage to you, and try to avoid combat with you. Memorable people easily remember everything about you, and tend to talk about you. People will more easily recognize you from your description and remember your past exploits. What he got was... Polarizing first impressions everyone who meets this character immediately either likes them or dislikes them, adding a positive or negative modifier to all social roles. This effect fades over time. Amazing criticals when you score any sort of critical on a roll everyone stops and notices. In combat everyone who saw the critical must save or be dazed. Over under awed enemies with a positive opinion of you will do reduced damage to you, and try to avoid combat with you. Enemies with a negative opinion will prefer to target you. Memorable people easily remember everything about you, and tend to talk about you. People will more easily recognize you from your description and remember your past exploits. This one didn't change. The sucker had no idea what he was asking for. Now the revised rules weren't that harsh. It just changed Tommy from being inherently totally fucking sweet to being a character who was very hit or miss, both socially and in combat. I think a clever and careful player could have made it all work perfectly. Tommy's player was not careful or clever. He wanted to be some sort of fantasy musical Austin Powers. Instead he wound up a lot like Trout from Shadowrun Storytime. So Tommy was supposed to be the smoothest fucker you ever met. In fact the second you saw him you were supposed to go wow what a smooth looking fucker. I bet he's incredibly awesome. This was manifested as a flat bonus to everything social because Tommy was just so awesome. Except our GM gave it a 50% chance to backfire. So half the people who met Tommy immediately thought he was the bee's knees, the other half thought he was an incredible tool. It wasn't a big enough bonus to make all his social checks a 50-50 chance but it meant Tommy had to watch for if he made a good or bad impression before he started forward or he could be in for a nasty surprise. Tommy did not usually remember to do this. The result was that Tommy critted a lot in social situations, and everyone noticed when he crit, and they remembered it, and they told their friends, and those friends recognized Tommy the second they saw him, so when Tommy suavely seduced a random chick in a bar it was the talk of the town the next day. Likewise when he tried to bluff a city guard and got kicked in the balls everyone would be laughing about it in the bars that evening. This would lend itself to a very conservative play style, unfortunately Tommy was not conservative in the slightest. Tommy got his nickname at the start our second adventure with him. We had just wrecked a magical laboratory that had been recklessly releasing dangerous monsters one of which we kept and been lauded as big damn heroes by the town that hired us. We grabbed the next plot hook and moved on to a fair sized town to shake it. Down for evil cultists. We dumped all our stuff in the inn and split up to each pursue our own sources of info, which in Tommy's case meant hanging out at the bar basking in the residual glory of our previous success. Following the bard sop Tommy performed, drank, then found the hottest girl in the bar and rolled seduction and critted. The whole bar watched in either admiration or disgust as he suavely seduced her and her friend and took them up to his room. Then they proceeded to tell just about everyone they knew about it. The rest of the party returned, pulled their info, handled a minor disturbance when the party pet transformed from a dog into a goat, and went to bed. The party pet needs some explaining. He was a friendly dog that randomly transformed every few hours who he called Shoggy the seldom dog. There wasn't much rhyme or reason to his transformations, and at that point we had assumed that point we had assumed two things. 
that he reverted to being a dog after every transformation and that transformations happened about every 12 hours. On this basis we felt that simply putting Shoggy the goat in the stables for the night would be fine. 4 hours after we deposited our goat in the stables Shoggy transformed into a troll and started a panic. The panic immediately woke the party. And while everyone else is grabbing their gear and trying to figure out what's up Tommy leaps out his window and lands between an angry mob led by the local guard captain and Shoggy the troll. After quickly assessing the situation he decided to calm everyone down with a joke, and loudly proclaimed gentlemen calm down. That's no troll beat that's my wife. Unfortunately the guard captain thought the half naked bard looked like a smug little prick and did not take the line in the same spirit it was delivered. He reached for his truncheon with a mutter of wife eh? We've got a word around here for your sort of people. This is where a smarter man would have changed tactics, or tried to talk to someone else in the crowd, or waited for help. Instead Tommy decided to go for another attempt at diplomacy. Tommy began to explain that it was all a joke and there was very reasonable explanation for everything when someone in the crowd yelled hey, that's the guy who better Jenny and Tommy retorted with no, it was Jenny and Samantha. This would later turn out to be the guard captain's daughter and niece respectively. Shoggy and Tommy were chased around town by an angry mob and a vengeful guard captain, and only the timely intervention of the rest of the party kept him from getting curb stomped. The entire group was ran out of town had to relocate to the next town over to continue the hunt for evil cultists. The party was smart enough to tie Shoggy up outside of town this time, but we hadn't planned on just how memorable Tommy was. Everyone stared at us as we entered town, and before long we started seeing wanted posters with a perfect likeness of Tommy's face that read Tommy troll fucker. Wanted for inciting panic, resisting arrest, and bestiality. Tommy was sent back to the camp to hang out with Shoggy. Tommy lasted surprisingly long, and after a rough start his player gained with us for a long time. Unfortunately while the player did get better Tommy never did. For every success he had there were usually two spectacular failures, and being easily identifiable is not a survival tray when fighting mysterious evil cults. In the end he died how? He lived, as the center of attention, except in this case it was the attention five different archers sent to kill him while he did a public performance. But even as he stood there full of poisoned arrows he succeeded his concentration check and finished the piece before he died. However before he met his rather messy end Tommy brought a great deal of humor to our group. His awesome crits led to several instances wherein an entire fight would stop and watch as he pirouetted through the air and beheaded an enemy, or alternately tripped over a chamber pot and landed crotch first on the corner of a table in these situations it was always a plus that most of us would save against being dazed and most of the enemies wouldn't. No one could fail a diplomacy check quite as spectacularly as he could either, you could wear a Nazi armband to a bar mitzvah and still be less insulting than Tommy could be by accident. Poor Tommy, like, you know, I think he did mean well, and I think he just, like, you know, wanted to play, like, a really cool character. But sadly, you know, no one likes a Mario Sue. You know, just no one likes a Mario Sue. It's just not cool. And, like, you know, he did try to, like, you know, oh, maybe I might be able to fix it, and he'd be like, it's, ah, fuck it, you know, like, Mr. GM, man, can you just fix this character for me, like, you know, so I can play with him, because I think he's really cool, but I don't know what, how to fix it. So he goes ahead, gives a character over, and, like, you know, as I did say, it is exactly like asking a genie for a wish that isn't worded correctly, like, you know, it's just a piss poor idea. And, like, you know, the character probably just didn't know how to use him very well, but, like, he seemed pretty handy, and he does have some abilities which like you know sound really cool and all that but a lot of downside and a very conservative playstyle would have been the only way to use them but no um i'm sure for some of you like you know more long-term viewers if you have like you know um you, if you remember anyway shoggy the seldom dog fucking great i really love that character really cool i'll put a link down below in the description and I'll put it in the comments as well to definitely check out Soggy. It's fucking great. I really enjoy it. Really cool character. And like, I got to throw my dog into the video, so I thought that was really cool. You know what I mean? I've got to, I got to make a video and like threw my actual dog into it. So you know, I thought it was really cool. So definitely check it out. I love the sheep shifting abilities that Soggy has and how it leads itself to like you know some hijinks the party has to deal with. But like. That's something if you're interested in check it out. Uh, but no, as always, hope you guys have enjoyed. Um, definitely, if you enjoyed it, like and subscribe and all that other good stuff. And like you know, maybe maybe you might like some of the other videos. You never know. But hey, look, check it out, and I'll see you then. All right. If you haven't already, check out my Redbubble portfolio. You might just find something you like. This.
This is, is not okay. This needs to stop now. This is cancer. This, this is so much cancer that I can feel the tumors growing on my back. And it's way down heavy on me, and it's not okay. Can you help a nigga out and just stop this? Please? 